Hi guys, this is Nick the Booksmith. Welcome back to my channel. I have um, a special project to share with you this morning. And if you have not already read the backstory down in the description box, I, um, I advise you to pause, pause, and read it real quick so that this makes more sense to you. Um, it shouldn't take very long. It's just, it's not, it should take more than just a couple of minutes. Um, but it's the backstory on the journal inside this box. And so it might help you along with the story. So, okay, I'm waiting. You just pause. You pause and read that. I'm not going anywhere, but I'm just, you be good. You read it. Okay. Have you read it? Are we back? Okay. So, um, if you've read the story, you know that this box was found in a derelict hut at the edge of the Amazon jungle, and inside is the, is the journal. So let's open up the box. It has a leather strap attached to it. This is the lid. I did not distress this at all. This is um, an antique uh, metal case that I've had in my possession for quite a while. I purchased it at an antique store thinking, oh, I'll do something with it someday, and this is the day. <laughs> so it has not been distressed. This is just an old metal box that um, I thought was perfect. Um, the journal was stored in metal because in the Amazon, if you store anything in wood, it's going to rot away, so it was metal. So we'll put the lid aside. This is the journal, so when you open up the box, you see um, here is the journal, and it is wrapped and bound with twine, and there is a compass and an old map. So what I have done is I have distressed this woven ribbon trim, and this is what helps because this this book fits in this box like perfectly. So this is what helps you lift it out. And so that can just, it just lays in the bottom and then you just put the box, I mean the book, over it. Um, as far as the box is concerned, the strap has been permanently adhered to the box. This box is made for this book um, specifically. And so these have, this strap has been riveted to this box and this is what the book goes in. So I will just put this aside uh, for now. Alrighty, so here is the journal, and if you read the story, like Good Little Boys and Girls, you know that this is the journal of Dr. Harris Rathburn, whose wife has been diagnosed with tuberculosis. In 1894, there is no cure for tuberculosis, and so he has heard through the grapevine, through gossip, that in the Amazonian jungle there is a shaman that is curing um, ailments of the respiratory kind with a moss um, that he makes into a tea. So off Dr. Rathburn and his expedition team go, and this is the journal that he took with him. So if we uh, untie the twine, this is, this is the compass that comes along with the journal. This is Dr. Rathburn's compass. Because when you're in the jungle and you can't see the sun, you need, you need a compass. So here is, and this twine is like really, really old. Wicked old. It's dark green. It's really cool. Here is the map. And on the map, I've drawn with pen and ink the location of where they are going deep in the inside of the jungle. And this, this journal has been crafted with some textiles that I uh, received from Jibbid. Hi, Jibbid! Um, a dear, dear friend of mine. Um, and if you don't know Jibbid, her link is down in the description box. Go check her out. She is brilliant. She is a genius, and she is um, a wonderful artist. So please go check her out. I think you'll like her stuff. So this is she eco printed this this textile for me, and look how gorgeous the all the leaf shapes came out. Look how beautiful the leaf imprints came out on this gorgeous fabric. 
it's it feels like butter <laughs> it's just wonderful and I received this many months ago but I I was saving it back for something extra special and so I contacted Jibbit and I said okay I've got something and she says okay you go for it so so here we did here here I went for it and I figured this was the perfect cover for this story for Dr. Rathburn and his expedition team into the Amazon so we untie it of course with a ribbon and let me my camera the um the little the little screen that you watch your what you're doing is backwards so if i if i like push it too closer <laughs> it's because i'm backwards okay there's a lot in here so let's get started inside the um the front cover are three glass vials that you read about in the back story and there is the moss and then there are seeds from the tree and the orchid that were all growing together so these are the specimens that were collected by um, Dr. Rathburn and his expedition team. The vials do slip right out for easier writing <laughs> in here because these will flatten out so the vials do come out but um, please take care with them because this is just a prop you know it's and then here is a little tab that holds the photo of the expedition team um, this gentleman right here is Harris Rathburn and then these are um, the men that make up his expedition team and it's dated the day they left for the um, Amazon interior so that just kind of slips right there um, inside this page is uh, it looks like an envelope but it isn't um, it has a couple of vintage stamps here and this was um, correspondence to Harris I've left it I've left it blank on the inside so that whoever gets this journal can write on it themselves I just thought it was kind of a, a nice thing just to kind of put here and there's a little metal tab there's lots of little metal bits there's no there's no um, lace in here of course because this is this is this is an expedition journal and so there's no lace there is sewing because I sewed things together but I left the tails um, the Michelle Mooney tails thank you Michelle um, that's where I got leaving the tails from many many moons ago and I don't know if she came up with it or she got it from somebody else but that's where I learned it was the paper addiction Michelle Mooney I'm sure you guys all know who she is um, I don't know hi Michelle if she even watches me I have no idea if uh, if she did I would totally fangirl right now but um, this is a Mel Michelle Mooney thing so thank you Michelle if you ever see this video thank you for that idea um, because I was trimming them off being all neat and tidy <laughs> who has time for that there is lots of uh, stamping on this side this is a picture of Charlotte and this is Dr. Rathburn's wife who has contracted tuberculosis and then inside I've used some of the pages from that medical encyclopedia these are actual pages and this has to do with um, tuberculosis and consumption and so those are kind of his reference works that he has taken with him um, to guide him along his his journey here nothing was wasted all these scraps of textile were sewn on there's little metal clips there's stamping I've sewn around pages and more stamping um, there are little notes um, from Dr. Rathburn inside um, this one is forgive me Charlotte for leaving you so he has written a few little things I didn't want to take up too much room but a few little bits and pieces here and there throughout the journal this is the letter that you read um, in the description box below this is the letter from the gentleman that found the journal and and the this is the journal entries that he has included these are Dr. Rathburn's gent, uh, journal entries that he has included to um, to Dr. Waxman or Wakesman however you say that I think it's Wakesman and so this is that correspondence that was sent along with the um, specimens and there is just a little inscription he just happened to use a page from the journal to write that letter in not a lot of paper in in the interior 
So there's a lot of notebook paper, of course, and uh, dictionary sheets. I picked out the grungiest, wonderful pages to put in here. There is a lot of digital stamping, so he's collecting research because he doesn't know exactly what he's looking for. Um, if you read the story, which I'm sure you did because I asked you to do that, I'm sure you read it. Um, he, he surmises that it's not just the moss, but it's the symbiotic relationship of the moss and the orchid and the tree all together. So along the way, he's, he's taking note of other things that, that might be important to finding a cure for tuberculosis. Here's some more stamping. I better move along. It's already 10 minutes in and we're just bleh and I'm like four pages in. <laughs> Sorry. There is um, another note from Dr. Rathburn. This is some considerations that he needs to be looking for that he wrote up there. Some more sewing around this page. Here is a page from that medical encyclopedia and this is the, um, the lungs and then the parts of the lungs so that he's keeping reference materials in here. Here is his boarding pass that um, he needed because they took a a steamer ship from London to Morocco because at the time there were no straight lines from London to Brazil. So they took a steamer from London to Morocco and then, um, and it happened to be this ship, the Triumph. And so they took this ship to Morocco and then from Morocco, they boarded a cargo ship. So not cushy at all. They just got on a cargo ship and went to Brazil. So here is a digital collage, just kind of, I don't know, just kind of pretty. Here's some more textile sewn on here with a metal tab and a little garment pin and then a little old key. Another page from that uh, medical dictionary. And also some pages from that botany textbook that I like. I took some pages that I thought um, went with this story. So this is about roots because he's not a botanist. He is a medical doctor. He is a chemist, but he is not a botanist. So he is saving reference work that he may need along the way. I've made some collage tags, just sewn some scraps of things onto some journaling tags and tied some twine. You can write on these easily. This beautiful, thick, grungy ledger paper from Liana. Oh, look how it just took up the, the staining. Just gorgeous. And it's real thick and velvety. I'm gonna see if I can find some more thick ledger because usually the ledger I buy is thinner and more like copy paper. And this is nice and thick and it feels great. Here is um, a print of a fern, some more wonderful grungy, and another, another botanical print there. A nice little pocket to slip something in. You know, Dr. Rathburn needed places to tuck little notes and, and little specimens and, and different things and photographs that he, he needed to collect along the way. There's not, it's not over, overtly filled with pockets and tucks. There are a few, but this is a utilitarian, <laughs> utilitarian, <laughs> you like how I use that word with air quotes, um, journal for the doctor. And so it's not a whole lot like, like um, some of the other journals. So not as many tuck spots probably. Here is, but there's still a lot. And here's another one. <laughs> here's another tuck spot. As I tell you, there's not as many. So if you um, have seen the Booksmith Planner Kit, this is the exact, sorry, file for, folder that I made um, to make a scan of so that people could have a little file folder page in their planners and see how beautiful that staining is. It's a natural fiber paper, so you can see the actual fibers in it. And then I sewed around the edges and put little page tabs. And then at the bottom, I put part of a page from that medical encyclopedia, and it says tuberculosis consumption and what is that word? It's P-H-T-H-I-S-I-S. -I -I -S. Like really Pathithith? I mean, how do you say that? But Pathithith? Mary and I were trying to figure it. We couldn't figure it out. Do you think they could have figured an easier word to say than, than that? So if you know how to say that, please let me know because that's crazy. 
So on the inside of this folder is the type of um, tuberculosis that Charlotte has. And it's the fibro, the one that makes the fibers in the lungs. And so it takes a little longer for a person to succumb to this type of tuberculosis, but nonetheless, most people did not make it. And so what was really cool is this is her treatment as of now. And this, these two are pages from that turn of the century medical dictionary. And I just wanted you to see this is her treatment. Look, it starts at 515 AM. Wake patient, sponge back and chest with cold water. Oh! Yeah, a person dying of, of consumption. Let's wake them up at five o'clock in the morning and douse them with cold water. What were they thinking? Anyway, so this was the treatment that she is under at the moment. So that goes in this little folder. Just something for him to keep in mind. Give him motivation to hurry up and come home because they're dousing his wife with water at five o'clock in the morning. On this side is a little sewn pocket just to tuck some things in. When they landed in Brazil, they landed in a British colony, and this was the lodging house that they stayed in that first night. Here is another tag with some textile, another botany page with some more textile, and another digital collage sewn onto that pocket. Lots of sewing throughout. I don't know why I sewed. I just, I just do. It's my, it's my comfort zone. I just sew things. Here's another page with a sewn, and it's also like a little tuck spot if you want it to be. It doesn't have to be, but you could definitely tuck something in there. And this is a beautiful page. Um, Mary and I talked about this. Hi, Mary. So this coffee staining looks like looks like dendrite. So I love how this came through. It just looks like fossil dendrite. Anyway, just kind of a neat thing. Um, more digital stamping, a nice big huge pocket from a vintage Encyclopedia Britannica, and inside is just another journaling page. So that just tucks in there, but there's lots of room to put things in that pocket. Some more stamping, another note from the doctor. Some more botanical pages, a little tuck spot with a vintage uh, stamp. Down here is a pocket with some twine and a pin in case he needed to attach something here. There's some textile and then there's a little metal uh, tab or tag on a brad that kind of spins around. This is a photograph of the shaman that they met with. This is the, the gentleman that talked about um, the moss that was curing people of lung ailments with the moss. And he is the genius that figured that out. And so this is who Dr. Rathburn went to see. And this is who um, sent him to the right place in the jungle to get those, um, those mosses. So his picture goes right there. It's another little tuck spot here. I didn't throw any of this beautiful ledger away. It got used. On this side is another little pocket with a little folded journaling page. Am I I'm getting off kilter here? With a journaling tag in the back in case Dr. Rathburn needed to ship something back home. He had shipping tags and then another piece of reference from that medical uh, encyclopedia. Another note down here from the doctor on this botany page. Another note to Charlotte on this side. Another, some more stamping. Um, some more stamping. Here's just some um, uh, sewn on collage on this page. Here is another note from the doctor. Things aren't doing you know, things are going poorly at that point. Another botany page. Here's another uh, trifold journaling spot with a page from that, um, that botany textbook. Like I said, he was not a botanist, and so he had to take reference material so that he could refer back to some information that he was not trained in um, for collecting these plants. Here's another little tuck spot here on this side. If you want it to be, it doesn't have to be. You could just write here if you want. Here is a little rope charm on this pin with some old twine and some stamping. Oh, and this is also from that medical encyclopedia. From the Gray's Anatomy, it's about the nervous system. Um, just something that he was studying as far as um, how tuberculosis affects people and the nervous system. 
There's a little sewn on little pocket here with a um, stamped tag with a little tab up here on top, a little fabric tab. I better hurry, we're almost 20 minutes in. Oh my goodness. Here is another note um, from Dr. Rathburn and some, some notebook paper. Look at the staining on this gorgeous ledger paper. I'm gonna have to look for that. It is just so very pretty. There is some fern stamping there. Look at that side, that side's even better. <sighs> it looks like it's been hidden in the Amazon jungle for, you know, 50 years, doesn't it? Some more stamping there. See, I left some room to write. <laughs> There's some real, some real stamp. I say real, it's not digital, it's, you know, stamping with some green ink. There's another, like a notebook page. Here is a nice big um, tuck spot here, um, all sewn on with a metal tab. And this uh, garment pin has um, a little, of course it got caught, there it goes, little binocular charm and it's reticulating. So cute, okay, I'll move on. Um, this is another page with some sewn um, papers on it and a little metal brad down here you can see poking through on this side and another tag some more botany pages this is a drawing um, that the doctor did when um, they were collecting samples so this is the orchid a drawing of the i am <laughs> i'm not great at pen and ink yet so please bear with me i am working on it i'm working on it but that's a drawing and it's not a scan. I actually drew on the page, so it kind of leaked through a little bit, but not, not bad at all. You can barely see it. This is the tree that the moss and the orchid were found growing on near and around. And so the doctor thought it was important to um, save this botanical plate. And here is um, a sewn on piece of um, that ledger paper. Here's another piece of some textiles sewn on. This is a little a little feather I found in the yard and I believe it's some kind of a sparrow, but I just kind of put that in there because I thought it was neat. You know, it's neat. If it's neat, it goes in. Here's another print of a tropical flower that I thought was pretty cool. And another one here. And some more uh, uh, textile collaging on that all sewn on. Here's another, this is the last note from the doctor, and it's to Charlotte. And then here's just some sewing I did on this page. And this is a, just a little note that I've been putting in my um, journals, and it's to the recipient of this journal. So it's just a little note to them. And then on the last page here is another of the collage tags with some ledger paper and some stamping, some sewing and a little metal tab down here. And then here is the book plate for you to write your name in. So I hope you um, liked this um, big old book. Um, like I said, for whoever decides that this needs to be theirs, <clears throat> in order to write uh, properly, you might have to take these out. Unless you're only gonna write on this side you know, and not right on this side. So that, I mean, that's totally up to you, but you definitely might want to uh, just carefully remove these little vials when you, um, when you write in your book. So, okay, my loves, my dear ones, my friends, I hope you enjoyed this journal and the story that went with it. I've been thinking about this story for, for a while, and then when I came across this textile from Jibid, um, it just, it just all came together for me. So um, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoyed the story with the map and the compass and the twine and, uh, and the box that she comes in. So I, I hope this was interesting to everybody. And um, yeah, so thank you so much for stopping by and checking out this latest project. And I will catch you guys very, very soon in the next video. Hopefully something fun coming up really soon. Bye guys.